This is Twit. How do we get Well, Stacy, what happened to Insteon? Do we know? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> um, we don't know. And it we will never well, Is this like the ever. Wink fiasco or worse? No, Wink actually was purchased and people talked about what happened. So Wink still exists and if you pay money. Yeah, your that's Wink the problem is works. that you had to pay for it. But Insteon yeah, people were pissed about that. Tell me what Insteon, Insteon is. So on Friday, Insteon is a smart home hub. It's been around since 2005. One of the first. Proprietary, yeah, yeah, proprietary yeah. mesh network technology works really well. People love it. I cannot tell you how many times people like send me emails about how, Stacy, why are you wasting time with smart things or home, home assistant? Get Insteon. It just works. It's rock solid. People love it. So what happened is on Friday night, I started getting emails. People realized that their app wasn't working and their hub was down. And they were like, what the heck is happening? It's been pretty clear for the last couple of months that Insteon has been having some troubles. Uh, and Financial? Apparently, uh, financial. And they stopped supporting some of their stuff. They had some cloud outages, but they didn't really communicate. And then they came back up. So people thought this might be just a big cloud outage. But it turns out that it hasn't yet turned back on. Mm -mm. Um, and I went through because I had gotten enough of these emails and started looking and the people affiliated with Insteon, many of them are no longer with the company. And those that used to own the company are now denying that they have any oh, dear. business with the company. So I found Rob Lillen. Oh. Lilliness, who is the CEO of Smart Labs, which is the company that in 2017 invested, well, Rob's private investment fund, Richmond Capital Partners, created Smart Labs and invested money into it to buy Insteon, the assets, and wrap that all up. So they had this smart home website that sold Insteon gear. They had the Insteon stuff. Um, and he has scrubbed all mention of Insteon from his LinkedIn oh. profile. And as of now, he no longer has a LinkedIn profile. Oh. Mm. Mm. He just took that sucker down. Oh. But it's the same of as the death. five people, <laughs> should, yeah, I, of the five people, I've got in a the book he can team. buy it into that might help him <laughs> yeah. revitalize. His, <laughs> sounds like the Cleveland Browns <laughs> into Baltimore. <laughs> yeah, holy cow! So I, he did actually respond to me on Tuesday. And he said he's not affiliated with the company, but he didn't answer any of my questions. And that was the only response he has. But he was clearly used to be affiliated with the company. So it's anyone's guess what has happened. Mm. And people are pissed. Mm. So if you bought an Insteon hub and have been powering your smart home with Insteon, they had an app and everything, right? Um, yeah. No, none of that's working anymore. Well, so Insteon has local control. If your hub was oh, programmed, okay, this is why people love it so much. If your hub was programmed, your timers and anything on the hub will still work. If you oh, want good. to change anything, though, you need the app. Mm. Now, my thing of the week is actually a very comprehensive guide that we put together on what to do if your Insteon thing has failed. But Save we that. We'll talk that. about that then. Okay. okay. So there is hope. No. It's there's not hope for Insteon, but there's hope for your particular home. There's, there's something you, you can do. Yeah. Okay, good. Was it, uh, the, was it the problem with Insteon that it was proprietary and that Zigbee and Matter and all of these things have just kind of eclipsed it? I think yes and no. I, I think it was, I mean, the fact that it was proprietary and it worked really well was great. I think the fact that you... It was a pain to buy and you need a professional installation. All of that is hard. And we've seen the smart home eclipse kind of the professional CDA type installers. Yeah. And then things like Matter coming on didn't help it. Was Insteon a member of the Matter the Coalition? I don't believe so, no. Yeah. But so. Matter could theoretically help if you had a situation like this going forward because you would have local control right. with Matter. Right. Theoretically, when it comes out. Was it the Sonos of IoT? The Sonos of IoT? Well, Sonos is still around, so let's not... <laughs> well, I know, yeah, but Sonos no, in the sense is that oh, it worked well, but then other a lot of other things came out. They got out. eclipsed. Oh, yeah. Very expensive. It yeah. got eclipsed, that's what I'm saying. 
Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that's probably and, and Sonos is expensive. Now Sonos is still investing in things and, and having lawsuits and Yeah, Sonos is gonna be around, I think. I think they've decided to, you know, put but it does in some respects it kind of does sound like the Sonos of IoT in some respects. All right, well we'll find your worker we'll get your workarounds a little later in the show.